Hi there, Alec from Vacuum Spot here. Just going to show you a quick video on a Packvac Super Pro 700. Um, this customer has brought this in because it's simply not working. Um, so we'll just show you a little bit of fault finding about how to get it sorted. So first I'm just going to have a quick listen, see if there is anything happening. No, that's dead as a door now. So, obvious solution is to start looking at your extension lead first. Um, so let's grab our multimeter. Now this particular one uses two leads, which is good because you can then isolate the cores a little bit quicker. Um, so let's test our continuity. Let's see if this lead's any good first. So we'll just check. Oh yeah, I should be showing you. Look, we've got our multimeter set on down here. Okay, so we firstly just want to check that yes, we've got no resistance. Same again on the other side. Correct. And on our earth. Okay, so that cord is fine. We don't have any problems with our cord. So now, Normally, with the previous model, you would have to uh, pull off the bottom, but on this one, they've made this lead also detachable. So, it'd be really good if this was the problem. So, we're checking again. Any issues? Okay, that side's fine. Uh huh. We have no power getting through to this pin. Earth is all good. That would appear to be faulty. So, uh, I've got one of those. Let's have a quick, actually, well, there's no need to test it. That's brand new. So, plug that in there. Easiest repair I'm going to do all week. So, simply testing the continuity has saved a whole lot of time pulling this apart, so I'm super happy about that. Um, old cord out, new cord in, vacuum fixed. If this is helpful, please hit like on the video or subscribe to the channel. That's Alec from Vacuum Spot.